It won't be the first time that you hear an old lady petting a cat. Almost all of us have owned a pet, and if not, probably our friends, relatives, or next-door neighbor has an adorable dog or cat residing with them. The way those kitties and pups stare at us, their gleaming eyes, and that wagging tail, it all is enough to steal our heart. Well, not everything goes as perfect as it might appear to be, and something like this happened to Eric, Hartline's grandmother. All the while, the woman thought her new pet is a cat, and when her grandson visits her to play with her new cat, he was completely astonished to realize that it wasn't a cat at all. It was something beyond imagination. Eric was taken aback. All the way, he had been thinking of being greeted by a cat, but this was everything but not a cat. He was baffled that how could his grandmom call it a cat? It had fur, a tail, four legs, but it wasn't a kitty for sure. It was something not that domestic. Eric recalls, I remember that Granny said to me that she had housed a new cat who was way too adorable, but this doesn't look like a cat to me. Is she mistaken, or am I seeing something else? Had she been taking care of this creature assuming it to be a cat, then Granny needs to beware. What had the old lady been petting since that long? Eric Hartline is a young boy in his 20s. He is a resident of Kansas. He lives with his parents while his grandmother lives in a house separate from theirs. Eric and his grandma share a very special bond, more than being her grandson, the duo of friends, like who she shares everything. And when his grandmother told him that she got a new member to her family, Eric was excited to see who it was. Eric was occupied with his studies, but he made sure that during his Christmas break, he visits his grandma's place and enjoy the festivity there. He was always enthusiastic about his visit to her place as there he had two more members waiting for him. Who were they? Her grandmother had always loved stray animals, and while taking care of many such animals, she adopted two kitties. She even named them as Furry and Sasha. She found these in the local community park on a wintry night. She opened the doors of her house to shelter them and provide them with warmth. Little did she know how this will change her life. Kansas experiences a freezing to moderate winter. Nearly for six to eight weeks, the temperatures drop down to chilling cold. While people can find warmth in their house, the stray animals are left out in chilling cold, and the old lady couldn't see them like that. Eric's grandmother has always loved looking after these mute, adorable creatures of G0D. She often fed these stray animals with milk and bread, and moreover, she often covered the cats living in her neighboring surroundings with warm clothes to protect them from cold. But one day, grandmother helped all the cats she saw on the road. While each and every cat greeted her by licking her foot, there was one cat different from others. She would rub her fur against the granny's legs. However, soon only she would be realizing that it wasn't what she had been assuming. The granny and this little different cat developed an instant bond. She named her new pet cat as Teet. Teet, every day would wait at the corner of the street for the old woman to come and greet her. Not only this, the old lady carried with her some warm milk and some bread to feed her. And then, one morning she decided to take Teet home. The last night while watching the news, Eric's grandmother came across the weather forecast that had predicted a snowstorm in western Kansas. She was worried about Teet. How would the cat manage to survive in the snowstorm? Thus, she decided to bring her home that night. The old woman bought the furry four-legged tiny creature to her place and placed him in a basket near the fireplace. Teet was equally happy to share her new friend's place. And soon only she began to play with Furry and Sasha. Surprisingly, the two elder cats also did not realize that their new sibling wasn't a one alike. Sasha and Furry initially did not appreciate this new entry into their house. It was as if someone was trying to invade in their territory. But as time passed, the trio enjoyed each other's presence. That night, all three thought to be kittens had their supper together, and Eric's grandmother knew what to do next. Eric's grandmother was overwhelmed to see her house full of cats. As she lived alone, these animals were all she looked up to as her family. Their sounds and screaming made her feel like home. And seeing Teet, Sasha, Furry together that night, she adopted Teet as well. Little did she know that what she adopted wasn't a domestic cat but something too unusual. The grandmother excitedly called her grandson to inform him about the new member of her family. She tells Eric that she had adopted another kitten and was eager to show how adorable his fur looks like and his small antics which steal her heart. Eric's response was all she wanted to hear. Eric was himself eager to meet his granny. After all, it has been quite a long that he did not get to hear from her, and once listening to the news of an addition in their family, his excitement knew no boundaries. And, however, even he had no clues that he would be welcomed by two cats and a strange animal instead of three cats that he had been expecting. Eric was always welcomed by a new set of pets on his visit to his grandmother's place. Since childhood, he had expected to find more and more of cats and dogs there. But this time when he went in there, he was shocked to find this cat. A cat that was not a cat at all. What was it? The moment Eric entered his grandmother's place, he was greeted by Sasha and Furry. 
He caressed them and cuddled with them. Eric had a smile seeing the cats wagging their tail at him. And then he asked his grandmom about her new cat Teat, as she was nowhere to be seen. While looking for Teat he came across a strange sight. Eric's grandmother told him that the cat must be in her bedding somewhere around the fireplace. When Eric went near the fireplace he was perplexed at the sight. The cat his grandmother had been fostering wasn't a cat. It looked different from the other two. It was A. Initially, Eric thought that this cat must be from a different breed he hadn't seen before. But after having a closer look at this strange animal, Eric was sure that it was not a cat. He called his grandmother and said, This is not a cat, Grandma. See, this is a one looking like a cat. It wasn't a domestic animal but a wild one. Eric was surprised to realize that his grandmother had been looking after an opossum for so long thinking that it was a cat. Agreed, it had four legs, a tail, paws, and a nose, but it anyway didn't make it a cat. This was the craziest thing Eric could have ever expected. And this wasn't all. Eric was laughing hard thinking that not only his granny mistook the opossum for a cat, but other two cats also did not mind the company of this wild animal near them. The trio was sharing their meals and playing together in the house. But his grandmother still did not agree to this. Eric's grandmom did not believe that she had not been fostering a cat. Moreover, she argues with Eric saying that she has even named her Tiet. Eric laughingly says to his grandmom that naming an opossum like that of a cat doesn't make him a cat. However, his grandmother had something more to say. Eric recalls that how his grandparent won't believe his words. He says, She reassured me it was one of her cats. He even narrates the incident saying, She didn't realize what I was laughing about until I started pointing out the pointy nose and skinny tail. She didn't realize he wasn't a cat. The grandmother says that it doesn't matter even if the third cat wasn't a cat but an opossum. She would love to nurture him as well. The animal had been doing pretty well at her place and even greets her by his fur. But how did the old woman mistake a possum for a cat? Opossums are marsupial mammals who grow up to the size of a house cat. Their physical features are similar to that of a domestic cat, but have a sharply pointed nose making them different from the cats. Probably, this was why the grandmother mistook the animal for something it wasn't. However, she wasn't the only one to make this mistake. Eric was so amused by this confusion that he shared the entire incident over his Facebook profile. People reacted with laughing emoticon and shared his post like crazy. However, Eric did not expect that there were numerous comments like the ones which followed his post. What were these comments? One of the commenters said that he mistook a possum for his dog just because it was the same color as that of the pet he owned. Probably these opossums are mischievous creatures who play well with humans. Eric's grandparent wasn't the only lady to name opossum. There were others as well who named some wild animals and disagreed to accept that the cat they named could be something other than a cat. Well, after reading this comment, Anyone would begin to adore opossum. Just imagining the situation of two opossums on a date is so cute and funny at the same time. Yet, what the next comment read had us bothered. Not only opossum is mistaken for a cat, but this old lady had her game up with a skunk as well. Unfortunately, the old woman realized it quite a little late as the cats don't bite, but this one did. Poor lady. Even if the old woman doesn't accept that this cat was. Even if the old woman doesn't accept what this cat was. And even if she continues to count on him as an adorable cat, she needs to stay active and cautious near this opossum. Opossums can be angry and mean at the same time, and may even scratch humans. So beware, you brave old woman.